back on. <laughs> oh my god, there's chunks of it. <laughs> Action! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Chicago Reacts to Movies and TV. My name is Lauren, and today we are reacting to Cyberpunk Edge Runners episode three. And before we get super into that, I just want to take a quick moment and say welcome to the channel if you haven't been here before. And if you have been here before, again, welcome back. Uh, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you like this video and other videos like it, we put out new content every day. Um, we really look forward to hearing from you, seeing you. I love looking at the comments. I do read most of them. Uh, occasionally, I can't. Sometimes there's too many. But... Uh, when there's m most of these videos, I love to read them. I love to read them. I like interacting with you. Um, I like to see what you have to say. And I like it when you tell me when I have been super off base. I like to learn about that kind of thing as well. Um, if you would feel so inclined, if you want to see more videos like this, if you want to see extended content, if you want to get the videos early, if you want to decide what it is I get to watch, uh, maybe consider hopping over to Patreon and supporting us for just a few dollars a month. You get all of that and more. It's really exciting. It's fun. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I, I, I am also I'm a Patreon of our own channel, which I don't usually do. So <laughs> if that's an endorsement, yay. If not, if it's just a humble brag, then it's a humble brag. I'll, we good. Anyway, <laughs> um, last time on Cyberpunk, uh, there was a... A uh, really adorable sort of moon date between our main guy, David, and the, the hot girl. Um, and then it seems like she maybe has betrayed him. Um, that she maybe she gave him this like really cute experience in order to uh, set him up maybe to take his new implant. I do not know. Um, I hope not because I really like her. I think she's cool. Uh, I hope that she's not just trying to, you know, get just to steal this thing from him so she can get some more money. Also, in the last episode, um, we discovered that the head of the company um, is the father of the of David's school bully who David beat up rather badly. And instead of giving too much of a crap about what happened to his son, he is more interested in hiring David in order to... Uh, probably do unethical experiments on him. So I am curious to see if that will make a reappearance in this video. Uh, I just have to make I'm sorry the intro is a little bit long, but sometimes these things start out with like a lot of swear words and inappropriate content, and I don't want this video to get flagged. So without further ado, now let us get into Cyberpunk Edge Runners episode three. It's called Smooth. Criminal. How about we flatline him? The five finger scab discount will work great on his cold dead body. She been good for it too, up till now. Hold on. Huh? This liar? You don't mean Gloria Martinez. That ring a bell? Oh! Yes. Oh, okay. Ooh, girl. That's why she had it. Okay. I see I asked that, I think, in the the first episode. It's like, why did she have that still with her? Um, I knew that I under I remembered that she like uh, why I was with her stuff because I remembered that she had uh, been at the scene so she just took I assume she just took it and I was wondering why and now I know oh, okay that's great I love it when it all right I guess I'm it's so sad that the quality of stuff that I am used to watching I kind of just don't expect answers to my questions and now I'm getting answers to my questions so fast yes okay he's my mom so you glorious brat? How's she thinking handing it over to you? From some kind of gang goon drive-by. Got caught in the crossfire. Nothing to do with the San Devastan. Ow! <laughs> Tracks why she never brought us back. Condolences, kid. That's tough. What's it to you? He's got beautiful eyes. Sandy. Can't pay you back just now, but I'll work it off. Yo. Yo. <laughs> there are in high school. Host, high school host clubbing this. <laughs> They're like, oh, we're on a high school in it. Oh my God. <laughs> He's going to work it off. He broke a thing or he took something that didn't belong to him and they're going to make him work it off. Oh my God. Ugh. 
it's probably just a regular trope of something that happens in anime and manga all the time that I just don't know much about my because my whole experience with it is like Death Note, Oran, and Madoka Magica. <laughs> but like, I mean, it's the same thing. Well, this toddler's full of surprises. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah, a body his size would sizzle up after two hits. Try eight, no sizzle. Mm -hmm. mm. God, that's a lot of bunk and we all know it. Yeah. <laughs> I love how that guy moves. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of how I move sometimes. <laughs> Just like almost like, yes, hello. People, people at the restaurant will ask me to like, they'll pause and like, yes. <laughs> Every single time. Like, what? I'm going to stop and I'll dance back to you. Like, I... I think I, I love that guy. I don't know who he is. He moves his mouth like a freaking rooster. And he moves like he's always like posing. I love him. Anyway. Nothing up my sleeve. See? I love it. That makes nine today. Won't fuck it up. And give him some ibuprofen. Like boy's been beaten up a billion times in the past two days. So, cyberpunks. Those are the kind of peeps you roll with. Uh-huh. Just go home already. Yeah. Aw. I wanted them to be good friends. There's still hope. About your mom. Sorry for your loss. See, and I think that she's actually sincere in that. I think she has lost somebody. Um... Like, she actually gets it. She fully feels it. I mean, she is living, you know, I don't, there's nothing weird about her living alone. I think she's an older person. Um, but I think that she has lost somebody. And I think that she's really serious about, about his mom. And that's nice. I, I don't really like it when, like, relationships are built on lies. But I'm really glad that this didn't go on for a long time. Like, you know, she's, she's a thief, right? So it's it's not like she's already the most upstanding, uh, trustworthy person. Like her whole gate, like he met her when she tried to rob him, um, and then you know, and she's got loyalty to like these other people. I like that, and so it's like I'm not against it. I think that they can still be friends. The relationship is not built on lies because there is no relationship, and now hopefully David will be a little bit less trusting right off the bat. Um, we can always hope. <laughs> Arasaka Corporation has awarded you a scholarship so that you may return to your studies. Yeah. Now, I spoke with Mr. Tanaka and he has graciously agreed to strike several demerits from your permanent record. Should you <laughs> offer an apology? I mean, do you want to do school? Che, you're up. I guess RVB is a little sci-fi now that I'm thinking about it. I have a little bit of sci-fi experience. I think I said in one of the earlier videos that my sci-fi experience is pretty limited. Um, but I guess I have seen a few things. So red versus blue is one. And just the, the code names as states will like almost always drag me straight there because I saw that kind of formidably. This one here is cute. Spider guy. I Kimo. love the spider guy. Make yourself comfy. We're going to swipe the nav data from the limo he rolls around in. Just the data, not the car? We clip the ride and socket ninjas swarm us like flies to shit. So yeah, just the data. The butcher's getting butchered in round one, like a sad sack of meat. What makes you so sure? Just trust me on that. Okay. Anyway, you just gotta slip the key back in his socket before he catches on. She's cute. Hey, what the fuck? I'm so clumsy. What, you bitch? Again. Yep. Shoot your own car out. No way back. Start her up. It start. <laughs> that's a great. Oh my god, that's great. I okay. One, I adore the occasional like words across the screen. I think that's super fun. Uh, also, I like. I knew this was gonna go bad from the moment they started saying it was gonna be simple. Like, like, hello, hello. Have you never pulled a heist before? Just saying. Just saying. 
my dude my dude you do not get to be that like salty about like, your car getting wrecked when you're the one who shot at the window I was quick. That fast? That's why we don't fuck with corpos. They've got the advantage down here on bikes. Not good. She's so weird. I love her. You wanna relax, bro? Oh, never mind. I'm sorry, I did it badly. Oh, I totally forgot his mom died like two days ago in a really bad car accident. Ugh. I'm sorry. I know that was. Oh, God. Now he's dealing with that effing trauma. Great. He's just. Oh, interesting. That was a move. I would never ever have thought about using the super speed like that. That's weird. That's wild that it worked. I get it. Like, it makes a certain amount of sense. A certain amount of sense. I never would have considered that. To try and use it to, like, actually use your reflexes like that in order to jump your car. That's whack. Oh, he's like glitching. He's using it. Oh, I love that. Woo. Seems shut tight. Aldo he does not care that he just chopped a guy in half. That was, he, well, he didn't do it technically, but it was his fault a guy got chopped in half. Should be inside. Well, at least the jammer's still running stable. Oh, sorry, I just, because I just noticed the... Oh, and that... Hmm. When the little episode description popped up, it said sinister forces are going to try and lead him back to the academy, so... I was right. Shockingly... Oh, yeah, there it goes. See, sinister forces plot to lure him back to our Asaka academy. The corporations are the bad guys, guys. Are we surprised? He gets beat up a lot, this kid. Ow. He just doesn't care. Welcome back, cool dude. How does he not care that his arm got chopped off? How, also, how is he not bleeding more? But like, what is going on with some of these people that like, they just, they're like, eh, whatever. I mean, like, yeah, you can get a replacement, but it still hurts when it comes off the first time, you think? Oh my God, he's bloated him. <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny. He just fully exploded that guy. <laughs> oh my god, there's chunks of it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I should not find that as amusing as I do, but that was really funny. Sorry for the wait. <laughs> I couldn't even wait for the fucking punchline and I started laughing. <laughs> I love Spider Guy! I like him. <laughs> I like that spider dude. Here's your cut. Holy shit. Everybody gets a fair shake. Only way I operate. Uh, why? Why would you do that? Shit. Hi, Dad. Your joyride puts us back at square one and Tanaka on high alert. He's already switched sites. The data's useless. Okay, switching sites for what? That's not for you to know. I do not pay you to think. I pay you to check the boxes off my list. It is my place to see the larger picture. Yeah, but like, okay, I'm gonna see the larger picture because I've got a million eyes. But like, dude, it, like that's something that has always kind of confused me about a lot of different um, like spy movies and stuff, like where or heist movies where the person, the buyer, does not give the 
team the entire like setup. They don't give them all the information. And so when they don't have all the information, then yeah, things are going to go wrong every single time because they don't know what it is they have to look out for. Like if they have to know what they're looking for in order for it to make sense. That is how our business is done. That's how our business is done. Are we clear? I'm clear. <laughs> I don't like this guy. <laughs> yeah, we crystal dog. I want him Very to get chopped good. in half. Yeah. Oh, hi, little girl. Little one again. Uh, sorry, but who are you? Remember? Come on, Chum. After all we've been through. He forgot already? She looked a lot shorter a second ago. <laughs> I'm Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. I hear you're joining up with Maine's crew. Maybe. This carbonated. Cheers. Be seeing you around then. Bye bye. It is carbonated. Uh, you know what, though? I'm with him on the carbonated thing. I mean, I used to not be able to drink carbonated beverages like at all. Like I could not stand them. And then I went to college and then I was able to drink carbonated beverages if there was a significant amount of alcohol in them. Uh, so that's still sort of where I am at. I'm really unlikely to drink anything carbonated at all if I have any other option occasionally if i'm really hungover then i'll have some like ginger ale or soda water or something but i know mostly for me carbonation it's just like, ugh, it's got such a bad mouth feel and you're not like getting something else out of it i uh, trust you received the message that i left uh yeah i got it <laughs> yeah right <laughs> great all right so that was cyberpunk episode three that was I, I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm getting, it's definitely got me to a point where I'm getting more and more into it the more episodes of this that I watch. Um, I'm really enjoying <laughs> David um, and his antics. Uh, I, I'm not, I, again, I still kind of think that he might end up having to go back to Arasaka in order to get the information that they need like he'll have to do the apology which sucks i mean having to apologize for something when you haven't i mean he did something kind of wrong but like also the guy had it coming um and that's got a great that's got a great to like be say yeah you can come back if you apologize at the same time it's a full scholarship but I, I, I'm up in the air whether or not, like, I think that it would be, like, he should take it. Because, like, as Maine said in this episode, like, the only one you can really trust is yourself. And obviously, we already know as the audience that the Arasaka guy wants to use him for something else. So he wants to get him back in that school so he can, like, more easily, you know, manipulate him. So, uh, so far, I'm like, and David never really wanted to work for the suit, the suits anyway. So, like, I'm, I'm kind of down for him bypassing, uh, like some, this, this opportunity because, like, oh my gosh, I'm so sick of, like, you have to go to, like, that's what we were all told, right? You have to go to school and get good grades in school to go to a good college to get a good job. And all of that is complete bullshit. Like, you can get a good job without going to college. And then guess what? You're also not in debt. It's totally possible. Like, they put such a big emphasis on that when we're growing up. And then, like, no one's hiring. Like, and then the people that are hiring want to hire you for peanuts. And then it's just like, well, it's the, what's the point? Why am I... <laughs> like, why am I busting my ass for, like, barely hanging on? It's ridiculous. And then... And then, and then everyone has the effing gall to be like, uh, well, you didn't have to go to college. It's like, look, y'all told me my entire life I had to go. Like, my, guess what? I went to college. I did a bachelor's. I got a BA in media arts and design. And I have been working in restaurants for 10 years. <laughs> like, it doesn't always matter. <laughs> it doesn't always matter. So... I kind of hope that he does keep that in mind, like that these people clearly want something from him, that he doesn't trust them. And I like the fact that he's standing his ground. I think that's really, really, really cool um, that he's like, y'all have been treating me like crap forever. And now suddenly I'm supposed to apologize to somebody who's been treating me like shit. And now I have to apologize to him and you'll like just 
let me that's so weird it's so weird if his because the whole situation is real sus and i'm glad that david is seeing it that the situation is real sus so anyway that's that's that this episode was really cool I enjoyed it. Like there was like, like with car chases and gore and nonsense and all sorts of this one. This one was fun. I really <laughs> I liked this episode a lot. Um, I will be continuing watching this series. Of course, if you want to continue watching it with me, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Make sure you're sharing this kind of content with other videos. If you want to see more things like this, make sure you check out our other cat channels. And once again, we do request or just like invite you to look at our Patreon. You'll see full length episodes. You'll see full length movies. You'll get the content earlier. You'll get to determine what it is that we watch. You get lots and lots of fun perks for, uh, for being a Patreon. And without further ado, then let's like just give a little thanks to our Patreon list. Hello, Patreons. And goodbye. And I will see you all in the next video. Cheers.